Hi guys, pop pop boat time again. This time my plan is to make a boat that looks like this. This is an origami paper single point floating boat. I'll put a link in the video description to paper folds origami and crafts video they show you how to make one so I'm not gonna show you how to make it but it does come out of a flat piece of paper which you obviously fold up and you end up with a nice boat with a prow isn't it, the front bit and whatever the back bit's called and that's all um, sealed so there's no water leaks it's all in one piece which really doesn't matter because I'm going to drill some holes in it or push some holes in it for the pipes to come out for the um, boiler but I'm not going to make it out of paper I've got this foil tray so I'll cut the edges there so I can fold it flat and then make this out of that and then the pop pop um, boiler itself I've picked up a can in the road washed it out and cut it so this is an aluminium can which I will fold up to make the boiler and then for the pipe this is aluminium pipe. In fact, it's got wire up the middle of it at the moment. Uh, came out of a... I'm not sure. This was the heater um, element, I think. Or, no, sensor. Anyway, I shall use that. And because it's all aluminium, so aluminium boiler, aluminium pipe, aluminium boat, I'll be using two-part epoxy. This particular pack comes from Poundland. So that's the plan. First thing I'll do is go away and fold up my boat and see if I can do that. But I'm not going to do a video on it. I'll put a link in the video description and probably at the top of the screen, whichever side it goes, uh, to the video of how to do it that would be much better than me trying to show you. Paper. Uh, aluminium foil. So that part of it's done. There's actually enough left over there to make the boiler, I think. So I could do that. Or I could use this like I planned to. I think I'll still use this because that's what I plan to use. It seems to be slightly more brittle. It's thinner but this feels quite soft. So I'm hoping I might get a, a sharper noise out of this. plan to do is fold it over and roll the edges over so we've got a rectangular shaped boiler and at the bottom we need to put this aluminium tubing in. 
Actually, it's quite quite a large diameter. I haven't realised quite how large it was. I have no idea how easy it is to cut it. That seemed to work. Like I said, it's got some wire in it at the moment. Right, that's what we're going to go for. I'll fill the end and all up the sides with two pack glue and see what see what happens. Well, I've just had a bit of a disaster. I've just done some pressure testing on it. And there's a leak right underneath where that uh, can I used, this thing, had actually got a bit of a, um, a little bit of a hole in it. Serves me right, I shouldn't have used that. I should have used the good stuff. I've put some glue over the hole, so that may fix it. We'll find out. We're up in the bathroom, and unfortunately, I've no idea if I fix the air leak in there. So we're just going to find out when we fill it with water and put the tea light under it. I'll use the syringe to squirt some water in. Oh dear. I can see it's leaking. Well, this is interesting and unexpected. Like I said, there is a leak in the boiler. But rather than take it apart and fix it, I just stuck the tea light under it. So it's leaking, but it's actually working. You won't even be able to see the water running down. on the right hand pipe as we look at it. But it's going. You can see a leak on this side as well now. Uh, we haven't got a very good seal on there at all. It's 
So I might have to tear it apart and make a new boiler. Well, I'm going to call this a success. Because even though we've got a leaking boiler, due to me using that um, old aluminium can, which was too brittle, so it's got little splits in it, it's still working. but it's still not making a nice pop pop noise. So I guess we're going to have to make another one. I think I've made the boiler too narrow. So even though it's flexible metal in it this time, flexible aluminium, it can't expand and make the pop pop noise it should do. Pleased with the boat though, origami, that worked well. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.